Aha, cool down time. So once you've had a sip of water or anything like that, keep your feet moving and let's do it. So we're going to try and just keep those feet gently moving. Maybe those shoulders rolling. And this is all about bringing that heart rate down, bringing that heart rate down. And then once we're starting to find that we're breathing a little bit easier, we can slow it down a little bit more. But we need to keep those feet gently moving. Keep those big muscles of the legs, just keeping that blood flowing through the body. Good. And we might just take a little hand, make a fist, just open out those fingers, really stretch out those fingers. And it's an opportunity to really just still stand nice and tall, keep those shoulders nice and relaxed, stretch out those fingers. We'll take one more of those fists and then opening up of those fingers. And then we'll just take a little bit of a walk on the spot. While we're doing this, let's see if we can bring those arms only as far as you feel comfortable. If that's your range, if that's your range, or if this is your range, ah, it's down as well. That's all fine. Don't overstretch yourself. Good. And then we're going to take a really nice wide stance. We're going to just roll those shoulders, slide those shoulder blades down the back. And we're going to just gently lift that rib cage out of the hips. Superb. Lengthen up. Relax those shoulders. And we can breathe out as we're doing this. Oh, that's fabulous. I'm going to move over a little bit because I've noticed I'm sort of out of line a little bit. So while we're doing this, it's a really nice opportunity to focus on the body. Breathe out. Keep that chest open. Good, draw those shoulder blades down the back towards the bottom. Good. And then we're just going to come all the way up. And then we're just going to move those feet again. Just using that as a little loosener for that lower back. And then again, we're just going to reach up. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we're going to just allow those arms to come down. Let's do that again. This time we're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to bring these hands down. Notice that my feet are still gently moving. Breath in. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? It feels really good. Just slide those shoulder blades down the back. And then we'll take those feet hip width apart. We're going to take a hand onto the opposite shoulder and we're just going to hug that arm across the body. And then let's release. Shake it out a little bit. Let's do the same on the other side. So we're just hugging this arm in. Hugging this arm in. And then we're just going to shake it out a little bit. As you can see, wherever I go, we kind of move the music. Sound goes. Now, we're going to move those feet again a little bit. Now, remember the calf stretches. So we're going to hold these end of session stretches for closer to 15 seconds. But if you need to come out of it, come out of it and then just go back into it. So we can really press the heel down towards the floor. Focus on that breath in that breath out. I'm hoping I've got about 15 seconds and then we'll bring it in. Let's see if we can do the same on the other side. So remember this, this front foot, front knee slightly bent, back leg is straight and if we were on a clock face the big toe of the back foot would be at 12 and the heel would be at 6. Good. And we're just going to really press that heel down towards the floor. Take that breath. Breathe out. And then we're going to bring it in. Good. And then we may feel comfortable taking those little taps to the side. 
You may just want to slowly take that little bicep curl. Good. And then we're going to bring it in. Good. Now let's see if we can take that breath in. And as we breathe out, bring those hands behind you. So we're just going to draw those fingertips away. Draw those fingertips away. Now it's tempting to do something like this. See if you can get that bottom in, chest lifted, chin drawn to the back of the neck, and then we're going to see if we can squeeze those arms upwards. Don't worry if you can't. And then let's just release. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is the back of that thigh. So again, we're just taking the leg we want to stretch in front of the other. Ah, oh, just in the nick of time, Sam here. <laughs> Good. Now if we want to increase that stretch, we can draw the toe up to the ceiling. Brings in a little bit of lower calf, well not lower calf, but calf. Lower leg. And bring it back up. Good. Let's do the same on the other side. Remember these stretches aren't designed to be pleasant. Oh, not wrong there. But we are wanting to lengthen the muscles that you've been working. So I'm tending to look over my shoulder at you, but try and keep that chin in line with the breastbone. Forgotten what it was called then. Okay, bring it back up. So we're just going to take a little chest press. Nice breath in, maybe a couple of little side steps. And then we're going to see if we can walk that hand over the shoulder. So we're stretching out the shoulders, tricep muscles. And again, see if we can just keep that bottom tucked under. We're going to reach up to the ceiling now. Relax this arm down by your side. Draw that tummy button in. And just breathe out. Oh, best stretch ever this one. But go easy with it. If we reach too far, we don't want you to pull something. So again, other side, walk that hand over the shoulder. Gently push that elbow to the ceiling. Good stuff. I'm actually facing, as I'm talking to you all, I'm facing my window. And uh, yeah, it's all happening out there. Breathing out. Okay, and we'll bring it back down. Lovely. So, we're going to take a stretch for that back, we're going to tuck that bottom under, so imagine you've got a tail, and we're just pushing it between your knees, we're going to hug this big ball, interlock those fingers and just gently push them away from the chest, it's a really nice stretch of that back, and then we're going to open up, good, open up, right, take that nice big stretch again, bring it down. Now this is the one we like to do holding onto the wall. I've conveniently got a sofa here that I might be able to not fall over. It's probably not the best place. Let's do it by the mantelpiece again. So we're going to just either squeeze that heel towards the bottom or we're going to hold the trouser leg trainer or the front of the trainer and then we're going to look straight ahead we're going to keep this chest lifted and we're just going to see if we can stand nice and tall and we're going to breathe out good and then we're going to release and do the same on the other side okay good so try and relax those shoulders keep that chest lifted good and breathe out Okay, it's nice. We're going to bring it in. We're going to bring it in. And with the help of Sam here, we're going to do a little stretch of these hip flexors. So particularly if we end up sitting down a lot, these muscles here are going to get really tight. So we've taken a really generous step behind us. Not sure you can actually see that there. Let's change position. Generous step behind us. I'm keeping my chest over my front thigh, I'm going to bend both knees a little bit and then I'm just going to tuck that bottom under and then I'm going to lift my chest. There's a little stretch here, okay? And then we're going to slide that foot back, we'll do the same on the other side. So, it's a little bit like the calf stretch, 
but I don't have to press my heel to the floor. So I'm sliding this foot backwards, bending both knees, and then I'm going to lift my chest, but keep that bottom tucked under. Oh, looking fabulous. Looking fabulous. Okay, let's bring it in. So, it's like a Friday or a Tuesday session combined into one. We're going to finish off just feeling those feet on the floor. We're going to relax the shoulders. And this is our move from Tai Chi. So we're bringing the hands in and then just gently almost bringing them into you. So if I show you from the side, the movement where we're almost putting in and absorbing. So what we're going to try and imagine is that this room is filled with positivity, positive energy. And let's face it, we all need a bit of that at the moment. So what we're going to do is as we breathe in, we're going to imagine drawing this positivity towards us. And as we breathe out, we're just going to absorb it. And we're going to breathe in. Fingers. Wiggle, give those feet a shake. It's a miracle they're the side ones then, because I've got one child on a PS4 shouting all sorts of nonsense. Thank you for being with my cool down, and I hope to see you next week for a bit of Tai Chi, a bit of Pilates, and who knows what else. Bye bye, stay safe.